Welcome to the Golden State Media Concepts Beauty Tips Podcast, the show that gives you advice on everything from hair to fashion to skincare products. We'll talk about the latest trends in makeup, hairstyles, and anti-aging remedies, and we'll cover all of the newest fashion trends. If you have an interest in or questions about the beauty and fashion trends that might work best for you, the Golden State Media Concepts Beauty Tips Podcast has got you covered. GSMC Beauty Tips Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I am your host, Alyssa Joe. Hello, hello, everybody. How is it going today? I hope you're having a wonderful day so far, and you've had a wonderful week. I'm super excited to be back to be sharing more beauty tips with you today. I am all about feeling confident in your own skin and doing whatever you have to do to feel confident in your own skin. It's so important to feel good about yourself. I don't know about you, but I know me when I just feel like I look good, I feel, you know, just confident in my skin. I'm just an overall happier person. It just like uplifts your mood when you're feeling good, you know? So today's episode is going to be about something that has always made me feel confident in my skin, Um, especially in the summery months. Um, This has always really helped me just feel better. And that is sunless tanning. Now, I am a natural ginger, okay? So my skin is so fair, like to the point where like I literally do not tan. I'm either red or I'm white um, unless I do some sunless tanning. Um, Even if I try to go to a tanning bed, I've only ever tried like once or twice, but my skin is just so fair that it either literally takes me forever because I have to go for like two minutes at a time, um, which I just don't like that damage to my skin to begin with, Um, but it takes me such a long time to build up a tan. I don't even think I'm able to build up a tan that way. I know I'm literally red or white no matter what and even if I burn you know most people like burn and then it peels into a tan no not me I just burn right back to white like that is how fair my skin is but I love the look of a tan Um, it makes me feel so good I just find and I know a lot of people will can agree with me on this one is that having a tan makes you feel like you've like lost five pounds like you just feel more toned you just feel like a lot smaller I think it's I think it's mostly the toning for me that makes it seem like I just I just feel way more confident with a tan um So sunless tanning for me over the years has been really an important thing for me during the summer months just because I feel so much more confident when I have a little bit of color to me, especially, yeah, in the summer when everyone's like naturally tan from the sun, I'm like just, oh, like just so white. I'm so, so fair. So sunless tanning has always helped me feel good. So today I thought I would share some of my tips and tricks when it comes to sunless tanning. Um, I know some of us probably have a sunless tan routine. Maybe you do go to a tanning bed during the colder months when the sun isn't out as much. Um, Maybe you're just blessed with a beautiful bronze skin, which I am very jealous if you are. Maybe you tan really easily in the sun, but I don't know. I just think sunless tanning is a great quick fix to have a little confidence boost and sunless tanning has definitely transformed big time over the years um before when you think of like sunless tanning and self tanning or spray tans you almost think of like oh no I don't want to look orange I don't want to have that like fake tan look but seriously it's transformed huge over the years. Even from when I started to try sunless tanning, I definitely have looked back on pictures and been like, oh boy, that was not the best tan for me, but you don't realize it. But seriously, sunless tanning has transformed, okay? So don't be scared of it because you think you're going to be left with like an orange hue or anything like that. I am 
such a fair person and I have found products that work for me so I know that you can find products that work for you. I will be sharing today some of my favorite go-to sunless tanning products. Um, There is one that that I've been using religiously I'm going to be talking about. There's a couple other ones that I've tried that I have liked. I'm going to give you the pros and cons and everything in between when it comes to those products. I'm going to be talking about more high-end products as well as those drugstore cheaper products that you can get as well. I have found formulas that work for me on both ends. So I will be sharing those with you today. I'm going to be sharing with you the process of sunless tanning, you know, the preparation, um, the aftercare, you know, how to make it last, how to make it look natural, all those things, everything in between, the do's, the don'ts, all of that. So I'm super excited to be sharing all this information with you. And I just want to mention, like, seriously, sunless tanning has been transformed big time over the years, okay? So do not be scared of sunless tanning. I know there has this kind of, like, stereotype when it comes to self-tanning sometimes that you can just look fake, you can look orange, but there are products that work out there. So let's jump right into it so I can share with you these products so hopefully you can get excited and feel confident in your skin as well with a nice glow. Well, what I love most about sunless tanning is the convenience of it. I am also going to be sharing some information about spray tans. I have gotten um, a numerous amount of spray tans over my life for different events, um, which I also find convenient. But just self tanning is like the most convenient thing ever especially when you just have all your products you can do it whenever you want um you can keep up with it really easy I find it affordable I think um sometimes if you're continuously going for spray tans it can definitely get more expensive um where if you get comfortable with using self tan for like for yourself it is so convenient it's so easy especially when you get the hang of it it's just like it's you can just add it to like your routine like your nighttime routine or maybe your morning routine we'll talk about that a little bit later but I just find the convenience of it so awesome not to mention it makes me feel good in my skin so that's really obviously a bonus um, another bonus of course is just avoiding that sun damage um, tanning beds can be not so great for us right for our skin or just sitting out in the sun for hours is obviously not super healthy for our skin either so if you are somebody that is scared of sun damage you do not want to be sitting out in the sun um, self tanning is such a great product. It's so convenient. It's so good. Um, All the formulas these days, they make it a lot easier to get that natural looking tan. Um, But of course, there are steps that you need to do to ensure that your glow will be as natural looking as possible. You definitely don't want it to look like you've just baked on some self tan. Um, But there is a process to it. There's some tips, there's tricks, there's things that you should do and not do to make it look natural. Um, But yeah, be confident in your self tanner you have to make sure you find the product that works for you and I promise it will look natural if you are doing it the right way and you have the right product for your skin tone it might take some trial and error but I will go through all of that today so skin tones like me who are really really fair it's a little bit harder to find maybe a product that you really love it took me a couple trial and errors till I found something that I really loved um but it, it was worth it for me for those trial and errors. Not to say that some of them were really bad. Um, I just found one that looks super, super natural for my skin tone. Um, and I've heard lots of great reviews on it from all different types of skin tones. So I'll jump into that later. But if you're anything like me, you have a very fair skin tone and you don't like it, sunless tanning is for you. So let's start talking about the process of sunless tanning. Um, I'm sure you've heard, you know, all that exfoliating stuff and removing your makeup and, you know, the proper way to apply it and, you know, don't smudge and you don't want to get blotchy and there's so much to it. Um, But it actually can be really, really simple, especially when you get the hang of it. So, of course, the first thing that you want to do is you want to remove all your makeup, your deodorant, your perfume, no matter what time of the day that you decide to apply your self tanner, you want to start with a clean canvas, right? You want to avoid the splotchiness. You you want to avoid any kind of unnatural looking residue. So the best way to do this is to make sure that you are starting off with a clean 
canvas. Just think of it. You wouldn't paint a picture on an already like painted canvas, right? Because it would be messy. It wouldn't look right. (laughs) So the best thing to do is to rinse off in the shower with cool water. Um, This is going to help you remove any remaining films, oils, lotions. Um, It can help shrink your pores. You want to make sure it is cold water, not warm water or super warm water um, so that that tanner doesn't absorb into your pores. Um, And then, of course, that would result in an uneven finish. Now, this is what you want to do pretty much right before you are going to start your self-tan. And, of course, you need to exfoliate as well. Now, there is a little bit of a trick to exfoliating, which I'm going to share with you after the break. We're going to take a short break, but when we get back, I will go through the process, and then I will go through, of course, the aftercare. I'll talk about the products, everything you need to know. So don't go anywhere. I will be right back. So I know I've mentioned before that I have, like, the world's most sensitive skin, but ever since I have been sleeping in my linens and hutch products, I have had absolutely no skin irritation whatsoever. These products are all hyperallergenic and ideal for sensitive skin. They're sourced from over seven countries from certified clean and ethical factories with extensive testing to ensure that your linen is going to last, and you can just feel the quality of these products while you sleep in them. Um, One of the products that I purchased was the Square Quilted Coverlet Set. I got it in the yellow, and it's such a beautiful, soft yellow. It's a thin quilt, but it actually has some weight to it. And it reminds me a little bit of my weighted blanket, and it's so relaxing. It calms my anxiety. It's definitely not as heavy as a weighted blanket, but it just has that little bit of weight that just makes you, like, melt into your bed. So since you are a GSMC Beauty Tips listener, you got to head on over to linensandhutch.com slash beauty, enter in the promo code GSMC Beauty, and you'll be receiving 60% off four-piece solid sheets. The GSMC Life and Happiness Podcast takes you on a journey of exploration. We'll discuss tried and true methods alongside the latest trends of how to best live your life to its fullest and happiest. From psychology to meditation, science to self-help books, the GSMC Life and Happiness Podcast will help you to discover what makes you happy and how you can live life being the best you possible. Download the GSMC Life and Happiness Podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, or anywhere you find podcasts. Just type GSMC in the search bar. Welcome back to GSMC Beauty Tips Podcast. I'm your host, Alyssa Joe. Hello, hello. Okay, so we talked about how we need to start on a clean canvas when it comes to self-tanning or sunless tanning in general. Um, But the trick with exfoliating, which I'm sure you've heard of this, is you need to exfoliate your skin because you want to make sure there's no dead skin cells or anything like that because when you apply self-tanner to, let's say, just your normal skin, you haven't exfoliated in a while, this is when it can come out splotchy, this is when it can come out just uneven, Um, some areas might be darker than others, so you want to make sure that you do exfoliate. Um, Without a smooth surface, that color won't properly develop, Um, so it's, that's a dead giveaway that the tan is fake. So you need to make sure that you are exfoliating, but you do not want to exfoliate right before you are tanning. It's a little bit, because if you are anything like me, I have sensitive skin, and if I exfoliate, I can get maybe a little bit of irritation sometimes. Sometimes I don't. It depends, but a lot of people do, and it's not the best thing to do to exfoliate right before your tan. What I like to do is if I know I'm going to be doing um, a self-tan, I want to, say, look good for the weekend or something like that, so I want to be doing it on a Friday night, right? So on Thursday night, I will exfoliate my entire body. Now, this includes shaving because shaving 
shaving is also a form of exfoliating, of course. But then I will also either take a... Um, there's so many different ways that you can exfoliate. There's actually exfoliating gloves you can buy at the drugstore. You can also buy from your self-tan um, place, wherever you are getting your self-tanner from. They usually have gloves that you can purchase or certain body scrubs. Um, you can even use a loofah. Like, it can be pretty simple to exfoliate your skin. There's also this product. It's called Real Chemistry's Luminous 3-Minute Peel for your body. It literally takes three minutes to remove dead skin. So if you do want to purchase something like that, you can. Or if you just want to go simple and get a loofah from like the dollar store, you can. Exfoliating gloves, body scrubs, basically anything that's going to take off that dead skin. And then of course, shaving, shaving your legs, everything like that is also going to help exfoliate. So what I like to do is I like to do that on the Thursday night, say, so the day before. And then on the Friday, right before I actually want to apply my self-tanner, that is when I will hop in the shower. I will take a cool shower to rinse off any makeup, deodorant, perfume, anything that I have on my body, you know, make sure there are no lotions or oils or films. I want to shower in that cold water to shrink my pores, basically just start with that clean canvas. So that's the way that I do it. Some people do exfoliate right before. I just find that I get better results when I exfoliate the day before and then, you know, start that clean canvas right before I apply my self-tan. Now, the next thing that you need to do, so once you have a clean canvas, you've exfoliated, your body is ready to go, you want to moisturize your problem areas. So your skin should be completely dry and residue free before you're applying your self-tanner. But there are areas like specifically your knees, um, your elbows, um, the crease right um, by your armpit I find um, can be a trouble spot. Um, but these spots are naturally dry and they can make the color settle into the line. So then once the tan develops, um, you'll find that maybe it's a little bit darker or it colors into the lines. It just doesn't look natural. So if you apply a very small thin layer of lotion just to those areas it acts as a barrier for the self tanner and you won't be having that self tanner in the creases of the lines or it won't dry out or anything like that so if you know there's places on your body other than like your knees your elbows the crease by your armpit um if there's any other areas that you find are just naturally dry I would make sure that I put on a thin layer of moisturizer. Now you also want to make sure that it's like a fragrance-free, very like natural, simple moisturizer. You don't want anything with a lot of oils. Um, anything Vaseline is not good. It's a little bit too slippery. Um, so yeah, you just kind of want like a basic moisturizer to act as that barrier. Um, you can actually purchase a lot of these like barrier creams from the self-tanning companies as well. So you can check those out if you want a very specific one okay so now that you've exfoliated you've started on a clean canvas you've moisturized your problem areas now you want to start applying it and the best way to apply yourself tanner is by using a mitt um, usually you can purchase these at a drugstore you can also purchase these from the companies that you are buying yourself tanner from um, but once you're ready to apply it's really best to start from the bottom um, upwards so start at your feet and your ankles and then you work your way up to avoid any smudges or lines from like bending over. Um, apply to your arms and hands last because they are kind of doing all of the work. Um, always make sure that you are washing your hands. When you are using a mitt, um, you're not going to be getting any self-tanner on your hands. But when you are, you will have to apply a little bit of self-tanner to your hands, right? Like on the top and everything. If you are scared about your hands um, being too dark or creasing, anything like that, once you apply your self-tanner head to toe, um, I like to just give my hands a, click, a quick wash, just a gentle wash. Um, your hands are another problem area that can sometimes get a little bit drier or absorb the color a little bit deeper. So yeah, you just don't want to make sure that you don't have dark hands or really dark feet. So just make sure you're paying attention to those problem areas. Once again, this is more of like a trial error type of thing. You just kind of have to see what works for you, what your body type um, kind of works with. 
Um, don't rub the formulas directly onto those like thicker skin patches that you know we did mention earlier where the problem areas are. Just massage or kind of spray on bigger areas and then kind of move the product downwards. So you're not going to put it right directly on that problem area but kind of just blend it over it. I hope that makes sense sense i wish i could give you a visual <laughs> um so yeah so you want to be applying from your feet all the way up um a lot of the formulas these days um are soft enough or gentle enough to be used on your face um but there are specific products which i will be talking about um that are for your face there's self tan waters and self tan just different things that are specific for your face but if your formula is gentle enough if you don't have super sensitive skin like i do you can use like your mousses and your self tan formulas on your face as well um of course you want to make sure that you have you know an even color throughout so using the same product from head to toe is the best idea um or a lot of people too sometimes a lot of people don't even like to put it on their face and they like to just wear a darker foundation or something like that for me personally I don't wear foundation very often so I like to make sure that my face tone is the same as the rest of my body um so that's kind of the process of how to apply the self tanner now Afterwards, you want to make sure that you're moisturizing and protecting your tan. Um, you have to let your tan develop over time, um, depending on what type of product that you're using, which I will jump in to very soon here. Um, but pretty much every single product, you want to at least wait six hours before you do any kind of sweating activity, lots of movement. Um, this is why I usually apply my self tanner right before I go to bed. Um, I'll sleep in a very baggy, big black t-shirt. Um, you don't want to wear any tight clothes after you put a self tanner on, right? Because you don't want it to rub. So wear dark clothes as well because if you wear like a white t-shirt, you're going to get that tanner on it when it's still developing. So most tans develop anywhere from like 6 hours to 12 hours. There are express tans, which I will go over soon, which of course is quicker. But most of the time, you just want to be wearing dark clothes, not a lot of movement. You just definitely don't want to be working out or sweating or anything like that because that can form some lines and creases and all that. So definitely make sure you're wearing dark clothes do it before bed i think is the best thing that you can do um but make sure you don't do it like right before you get into bed i always do it like maybe like an hour before i'm about to go to sleep so it dries a little bit um so that you're not kind of rubbing against and make sure you're sleeping on dark sheets because it can rub off and to protect your tan you want to make sure that you are applying an oil free very basic everyday lotion um you don't need to spend money on those after tan lotions um that a lot of these companies will try to sell you i believe that they are a money grab um they are not you know you don't need anything special to help your tan um stay beautiful just an everyday very natural moisturizer nothing with vaseline in it that's a little bit too oily um you can use coconut oil though which i know sounds weird because i'm telling you not to use any oil products but coconut oil absorbs into your skin well and it's not it's definitely oily but it's not going to remove that tan at all as some of the other like vaseline products might so coconut oil is a good one or just your very basic natural oil-free lotion. Um, all right, it is time for another break. But when we get back, I'm going to now jump in to the products that I highly suggest. I'm going to go through the different types of self-tanning and then also mention a little bit about spray tanning as well. So stay tuned. I will be right back. Tired of searching the vast jungle of podcasts? Now listen close and hear this out. There's a podcast network that covers just about everything that you've been searching. Hey! The Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network is here. Nothing less than a podcast bliss with endless hours of podcast coverage. From news, sports, music, fashion, cooking, entertainment, fantasy, football, and so much more. So stop lurking around and go straight out to the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. Guaranteed to fill that podcast itch. Whatever it may be, visit us at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and download us on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Google Play.
Welcome back to GSMC Beauty Tips Podcast. Okay, we are on the last stretch of today's episode. I am going to now be sharing with you my go-to favorite self-tanning sunless products. Now, I think I will start from my holy grail of self-tanners. This is the one that I use religiously now. This is the one after a few trial and errors I have now found to, I found this product and I am absolutely in love with it. And it is called Bali Body. Um, you may have seen this on social media. Some influencers definitely do promote Bali Body. Um, Bali Body is an Australian company, I believe. Um, I find them very affordable for a more higher end self tanner. I find them kind of like in the middle. Like there's definitely some products I'm going to be mentioning that's a little bit more higher end. And then I will mention some like cheaper drugstore products that I find that work as well. I find that this one is like a happy medium between them both. Um, I always use the just the self tanning mousse. They have an ultra dark self tanning mousse and then they have the self tanning mousse. Um, and I just use the regular self tanning mousse. Um, the thing that I love about this product is that I really find that there's no streaks, there's no splotchiness. Um, With my fair skin, there's definitely no orange hue or anything like that. When you are a little bit more fair, that's when it's easier to get that orangey or like unnatural hue sometimes. But I find that this Bali Body product is definitely does not leave me with any kind of orange hue at all. I also love that like I didn't get the ultra dark one just because I am so fair and I don't want it to look too dark. But I also can layer the self-tanning mousse. Like, I find that it's definitely layerable. Um, so, yeah. The Bali Body has my, been my go-to. I think it's super affordable. I think you can layer it. It looks really natural. And what I also love about their products is their face tan water. So, I have really sensitive skin, especially on my face. And I will break out really easy if I do not use... Um, proper products for my face. So they have developed a formula called a face tan water. It literally feels and looks like a like a face toner. Um, it's a gradual self tanning water, but it seriously provides this like flawless, natural looking tan on your face and your neck. Um, it's actually enriched with like anti aging, skin loving ingredients, so it can purify, hydrate, and just perfect your complexion. It's like skincare mixed with self tan so I find that I never get irritated I it looks really natural and it's literally like a clear toner liquid that you just apply with like a cotton pad um all over your face and I just find it super natural and it goes really really well with the self tanning mousse so those are my two holy grail um self tanning products those are pretty much the only two products that I use um I sometimes will use a gradual tan lotion which I will get into um Bali Body does sell a gradual tan lotion and if you don't know what a gradual tan lotion is is that you um basically it's like an everyday lotion that is going to gradually tan you it's pretty self-explanatory um Bali Body does have one I actually haven't tried their gradual tan lotion yet Um, but I do use a drugstore gradual tan lotion just because I don't use it as often. Um, and I find that the drugstore one works just fine for me. So yeah, I do use the Bali Body Tanning Mitt as well. I find it very, very soft. Um, so there you go. And they also sell exfoliating mitts and they sell, um, self-tan remover, which is really, really awesome. You can exfoliate to remove your tan, but then there's also this product. It's called a self-tan remover that just helps the process of removing that fake tan. Um, the next product I want to talk about is Loving Tan. Now, Loving Tan is more of a high-end self-tanner. You've probably seen this on Instagram. I There's so many influencers that promote Loving Tan on Instagram, so there's discount codes everywhere. I promise, search up like the hashtag Loving Tan and you will find an influencer with a discount code. But Loving Tan is more of a higher-end tanning product. I have not personally tried it. Um, it's been out of my price range a little bit more just because I find that their mo- their mousses are a little bit more expensive than Bali Body, but I have heard amazing things about Loving Tan. They have The thing about Loving Tan is that they have so many products. So from like a mousse, they have like dark mousse, they have ultra dark mousse, um, but they also have two-hour express 
um, medium mousse, two hour express dark mousse, um, two hour express just natural mousse, um, ultra dark, like all these different types. They also have the gradual tan in light, medium, and dark. They have different face tans in all three different colors as well, light, medium, and dark. Um, they have like body makeup tan. Um, they have things for your face. They have deluxe, um, applicator mitts like they have so many products so if you are really interested in finding um you know if you really want to kind of test out different shades and different products I highly suggest Loving Tan because they just have so many options and their um product is definitely high quality it's definitely not out of a lot of people's price range I think it is still a pretty fair price um but with that being said, it's just a little bit more expensive than Bali Body and I have found my love in Bali Body. So that's the one that I've stuck with. But I have heard absolutely amazing, amazing things about Loving Tan, especially if you do find an influencer with a discount code. I think it's 100% worth it to go test it out. Now, the next one that I want to talk to you about is an actual drugstore um, self-tan that I have found works really really well for a cheaper end product um and that is Jergens. so Jergens is literally just kind of like a bali body or a loving tan it is they have a self tan line they have three different types of mousses which i have used before they have like the light the medium and the dark i believe i've used the medium yeah i have the medium it's called an instant sun mousse um I think it does leave you pretty natural. Um, I just don't think that the, the Jurgens last as long as the Bali Body. I find that if I still do the same aftercare routine, um, Bali Body definitely lasts longer, which I think that's just the quality of the product, right? But if you are looking for a quick fix, you don't have time to order in a fancy self-tanner, go to the drugstore and try Jurgens. I think it's definitely worth it. They also have um, Instant Sun. So they have like these sheets. It's like a towelette that you can use on your face. Um which is really nice. And then they also have the one thing that I do love about Jurgens is that they have three different types of gradual tans. And the really cool one that they have is their Jurgens Natural Glow Firming Daily Moisturizer. So it's clinically proven to reduce the appearance of cellulite. Um, in as little as seven days. So basically you use this as a daily moisturizer every single day and it kind of just makes it, your skin look firmer. Um, I just think having a tan in general makes your skin look firmer, but this is actually like a formula that is specialized to make your skin look a little bit more firm. And then they also have another um, daily moisturizer that's a nourishing one. So they have, it has um, antioxidant and vitamin E in it. It's just a little bit more hydrating for your skin if you're a really um, dry person. And then they also have a three days to glow daily moisturizer. So basically it creates a full shade of natural looking color in just three days, whereas the other ones can take up to about a week till you find that little bit more of a color. So I hope that makes sense. So that's more of the drugstore one that I would recommend. Um, I've definitely used it throughout my years and I've I've had good results in it. I don't find that I look orange in it. I don't find that it irritates my skin at all. Um, the only thing I don't like is that they don't have a specific product for your face. Um, I know a lot of people use the sunless tanning towelette for their face with Jergens, um, but their mousse, if you don't have super sensitive skin, I'm sure their mousse is so gentle enough to be using on your face. So those are my three highly recommended um, self tanners. Um, I, like I said, I am a huge advocate for Bali Body. I think it's affordable. I think the quality of it is really great. Um, but sometimes when I do have a special event and I don't trust myself with doing a self tanner, even though I've done it so many times, sometimes it's just nice to get a spray tan. Um, I've done an airbrush spray tan where the technician usually like. I'm standing there with a technician and she sprays me down. I've also used the machines where you stand in front of the machine. The only problem that I don't like with the spray tan machines, um, like when there's like not a person there, is that like if you don't do the standing positions 
correctly. <laughs> um, you can miss spots on yourself and it's only your fault because you're just not, you didn't stand in the correct positions. Whereas if you actually have a technician standing there in front of you spraying you down, you're going to ensure that every inch of your body is covered flawlessly in the spray tan. Um, I do always go though to a natural organic spray tan technician. Um, I have found affordable ones throughout the places that I've lived because um, I, I move a lot. So I've, I have found really great technicians wherever I've gone. Um, this can just be a trial and error too. Make sure you're paying attention to the reviews. Um, but usually if you are comfortable standing there naked in front of a technician, um, let them do that to spray you down because that will get you the most natural, even, beautiful looking tan. The preparation and the aftercare of a spray tan is pretty much the exact same as if you were just doing your own self-tanning mousse or gradual lotion. So yeah, if you have a big event, I do suggest going to get a spray tan because why not? It's someone else's, you know, responsibility and job to ensure that you are even all throughout. But if you just like to, on like an everyday basis, to feel confident with a little bit of glow, then I definitely suggest using the self-tanners. Um, so yeah, I think that is all the information that I have for you today. I really hope that this was helpful. I hope maybe it encouraged you to go try out a new self-tanner. Um, if, you know, there's other products that I, there's definitely other self-tanners that have been, had amazing reviews that I've had before. Those are just the three top my go-to products that I have used and that I will go to if I ever need to. So there you have it. Thank you so much for listening to GSMC Beauty Tips Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I am your host, Alyssa Joe. I had so much fun sharing these beauty tips with you today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you are notified when there are new episodes. Head on over to our social media channels. Um, I update those regularly. We got Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram um, as well. Do not forget to leave a five-star review. If you try any of these products, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions and just your thoughts and opinions on this episode. So thank you so much for being here. Stay happy, stay positive, and I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. Thank you. You've been listening to the Golden State Media Concepts Beauty Tips Podcast, part of the GSMC Podcast Network. You can find this show and others like it at www.gsncpodcast.com. Download our podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, or anywhere you find podcasts. Just type in GSMC to find all of our shows from the GSMC Podcast Network, from health and wellness to entertainment and life and happiness to sex and relationships. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you, and we hope you have enjoyed today's episode of the Golden State Media Concepts Beauty Tips Podcast.